everyone, welcome to ZG Bookit and Read. So today I'm going to be doing something a tiny bit different. I'm going to be reviewing um, a series called the Guild Hunter series by Nilani Singh. Okay, so if you follow my Facebook, you will find that I have already reviewed two of the first books of the series. So today, obviously for my YouTube channel, <laughs> I'm going to be reviewing the first two right now with you. Yay! So we have the first one, Angel's Blood. And then we have the second one, Archangel's Kiss. So we're going to go a little bit by um, the little bits that they have here. So we can, so I can show you. Okay, so it has Gothic with a tick. We'll get back to that. Romantic, yet again, we'll get back to that. So it says a big red tick there. I'm kind of like near the end, probably. So action-packed, near the end. Uh, funny, yes, okay, give it that. So sexy, yeah, okay, I give that that too. And then Archangel's Kiss, Gothic, yet again, we'll get back to that. Romantic, a little bit more, yeah, I give that. Action-packed, yet again, a little bit more. Funny, yes, um, and sexy, yeah. So I'm also going to give the warning now, anyone under the age of 18, do not read them, or if you do, avoid the naughty bits, okay? You're too young. So anyone 18 or over, do not let your children read this, because it does have saucy scenes in. The big warning, big warning. Okay, so, both these books are on Goodreads, both equal a 4.1 out of 5. That's their school. So I really enjoy these. This is the first book. This introduces you to the main characters that you are going to need to pay attention to throughout the entire series, okay? This introduces Raphael and Elena Dur Durbex. I can never say her name right. Be mindful, there will be spoilers, all right? If you don't want spoilers, don't watch it. Leave, go now. See that door behind you? Go, or if you're depending on which way, weird way you are, in front of you, go out that door or turn it off. Now, go. Disappear. Now, for the rest of us that want spoilers. <laughs> okay, so, this introduces Elena, who is a guild hunter. She hunts vampires. It's not the way that you think it is. Okay, yes, this has angels, obviously from the titles, um, and the angels make the vampires. And basically to control the vampires, you need the hunters. So basically it, vampires sign a contract. They've got to serve a hundred years for the angels. Then they get to go free after their contract. Basically the hunters are there for people that break their contract. So she is practically a bloodhound for them. So she can smell vampires and hunt them and everything like that. Um, and let's just say it is interesting. Archangels are pretty much the top of the food chain. She doesn't want to fuck with the food chain, but the food chain wants to fuck with her. That's the best way I can describe it. There will be swearing, so I do apologize. So, but it's a good book. I enjoyed reading it. It's what got me into the characters. It's what started developing who they were. She was a pretty much like a, I don't fucking care. And I love her. I love a strong female character. Even when she's been through absolute hell and back, she's a strong character. And I really, really enjoy her. I don't like whiny characters. They annoy me to no end. Ignore that. Anyway, so they just, you know, whiny people. Ignore me. All the, like, or ignore me. Irritate me. Irritate me to no end. She is not irritating, at least not for the majority of it. I enjoyed everything about this book and you know it's obviously leading up to the Archangel and Elena getting together and obviously in the end they do so but I don't know at the ending just feels like a little bit of a letdown which is like all right then so I'm gonna give this a ZG Bookerson read or Geek the Gin of Doom since I'm a sub of uh score of eight out of ten so yes, I do really enjoy it. There are one or two spelling errors and there are a few grammatical errors, but I think that's probably down to more, obviously whoever's proofreading it. Um, but otherwise, I've really enjoyed it. 
you know and I felt the ending even though it let down a bit for me um you know other people have said that they absolutely loved it which is great fantastic so I'm glad because every reader has a different experience when it comes to a book but I would recommend to basically read this series because the first three books are Elena and Raphael's story and then you get introduced to other people who are obviously mentioned in this and then the next one and so on and you get their stories which is fantastic which is exactly what we want um, there is 10, 11 books and the 12th one's coming out soon. So I will be reviewing them all. Okay, um, so next one. And I'm sorry if this video keeps skipping. I don't know why it keeps stopping. It's really weird. Anyway, on to it. So we've got Archangel's Kiss, which is the second book. This is a carry-on of Elena and Raphael's story, which is fantastic. So it kind of leaves off where they were last time in New York and everything kind of messing up and everything. So this is a progress of his story and basically Raphael's transformation into humanity. I also apologise for children's voices because I'm looking after both my children as well as my nephew and they're creating loads and loads of noise. So um, basically this story is obviously a carry on yet again. There are saucy scenes so please no under 18. Um, it's just, it's a great story. It really is. It's, um, it's a very, I find it very slow paced story um it's not like a rush from this to that this to that this to that um it's basically uh, you get a lot of elena's baggage in this you get to see you know when you think she's going to become a whiny character but she doesn't she uses it and makes herself stronger and with Raphael's help and the others of the seven they kind of push her to get stronger which is great which is exactly what i wanted um and i think quite a lot of people wanted so i just you know Yet again, it's a well-paced book and everyone's really great. Sweetheart. Um, so yeah, so I would definitely recommend to read. So I'm gonna give this a ZG Books and Read slash Geek Legion of Doom score of seven out of 10. So I absolutely loved it, but I just don't think it's for everyone, but you can't read the series without it. Basically, you need to read it to understand what's gonna happen with the rest and the development of other people. So. I hope you enjoyed my review. I'm sorry if it kept stopping and starting. I don't know what's wrong with my device. <laughs> so um, I'm gonna carry on with obviously all my live reviews and everything like that. So there'll be no real editing. So if I swear a lot, I'm gonna to apologize to the ones that don't like the swearing and yay to everyone that doesn't care. So I love you guys. I'll see you later. I hopefully we'll have more reviews soon. Okay, love you lots. Mwah. DG Bookit and Read.